What is going on guys? So today we're checking out the Holystone HS110G. Now this is a 2.4 gigahertz FPV real-time video and image transmission quad copter drone. Uh, this guy has a 1080p camera, has GPS ret assisted return home, uh, point flying up to 13 minutes of flight time per battery, uh, per charge on this guy. You got active track, you've got Wi-Fi FPV, altitude hold, and you got headless mode, lots of functionality. Uh, this one is designed for ages 14 plus or for you younger uh, experienced drone flyers. This one is a great little drone to try out. Um, as you can see, the box is fairly large. Um, it's definitely not a small drone, but I have already opened it up. So let's go ahead and pull it open and I can show you guys what you get in the package. Now, first thing you're going to find um, is that it comes in a really nice case. Now, I am very, very happy with the Holy Stone case scenario on a lot of their drones. They're really packaging them with some really nice kind of hard shell, very protective cases, which is awesome. So let's we'll open this guy up and let me show you guys what comes in the package. So this is definitely not a collapsible, not a compact drone. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit more uh, full size here. Um, what you're gonna find, you get some extra blades, which is great. You get the little screws and all the little attachments there, so just in case you end up knocking this thing into a tree or a pole or a house or anything like that, because I mean, you know, we've all done that a time or two. Um, you get your instruction manual, which is very easy to understand. Um, I got this thing up and running in probably about 10 minutes uh, once I got the batteries all charged up. Uh, you do get two batteries with it, okay? So it comes with batteries. Uh, we can get two of them in the package, which is nice. Holy Stone definitely doesn't skimp on the batteries. Now, those batteries there, um, they will last you approximately, um, I think it's, what is it? They're going to last you about 13 minutes a piece. So between the two of them, you got about 26 minutes of flight time. So half an hour of flight time, not too bad. Um, you've got your little uh, additional little feet down here on the bottom, just in case you snap the landing gear on those ones there. Um, and then you have the drone itself. The drone itself looks just like this. As you can see, based on my hands, you can kind of get an idea of the size of the drone. We'll take a look at that again here in just one second. And then you have the remote control. I love this case. It is so stinking protective. It's fully encapsulated in a soft foam. So this thing is protected uh, when you're out and about. It's just a great little uh, protection of case. It's, it, I think they just did a great job with this. So uh, big kudos to Holy Stone for making such a nice case uh, to keep your drone safe. So a little investment too, you know what I mean? It just kind of helps kind of protect this guy. Um, when you're out and about. Um, when it comes down to everything else, again, you got two batteries. I pulled one of them out just so I can show you guys. This one slips right in the back here and locks into place. Let's see, I think it goes just like this. Yep, boom, and locks into place. One thing I do wanna mention with these batteries in this particular drone, the only way to charge them is in the drone. So you have to put them in the drone and use the micro USB charging cable to actually charge that battery in the drone. There is no additional external cable, which I'm a little bit disappointed in because that means I kind of have to pre-charge all of my batteries before I leave the house and head out to do some flying, um, as opposed to having the ability to bring basically like a power bank with me and I can charge batteries on the fly and stuff like that. They do have to stay in the drone to charge. That's a little bit of a bummer. Then you're just gonna pinch to release and pull them out just like that. Very, very easy to use. Um, it's fixed blades, so the blades just kind of fix here. It's not gonna fold up. They're not the, the folding style blades and things like that, uh, but very, very easy. And right down here on the bottom is your camera as well. Now this has, I believe, 110 degree uh, viewing angle. And as you can see, I'm gonna be showing you some video uh, that it's taken from the camera itself, um, as well as some video of it just flying and things like that. Super, super fun drone to fly. Very, very easy. Great lighting on the tops or on the bottoms down here. Really kind of gives you an idea, especially at longer distances, um, kind of which way you're facing. So that just it's just a great one, especially if you're learning. This is a great drone for that as well. When it comes to the controller, I think Holy Stone did a really, really good job. All right, now from a controller standpoint, what we have on this guy here is you've got two pop-up antennas, just like that, right? It's gonna give you that, that little bit of an extra bit of range when it comes to flying this guy. Um, so I love those little pop-up uh, little antennas here. Then you've got your phone clip, which is your extension phone clip. So this is gonna be able to put this up here. This is gonna be uh, for being able to do that uh, FPV view. So you'll be able to watch it on your device once you get the paired up with the app. The instructions are all here in the manual. Very easy to do. Um, the device itself uh, then pops out the bottom here. So you can slide these little two options, these little two little toggles, these little arms out here. Gives you a nice solid base of control and very, very easy to hang on to, which I really liked. The other thing I like about this particular um, controller is that it is rechargeable. Again, micro USB charging, uh, so you can recharge it, which is super, super convenient. Um, once you get this thing up and running, everything you need is on here. So you've got your 
your camera, your video controls here, you got your speed controls, you got your angle controls, right? So you got lots of different options here. You've got your headless mode option right here, automatic, you got your hovering, your auto land and auto takeoff, um, and then your standard joystick controls as well, as well as some indicator lights for all the other features of the actual drone itself. So very, very high quality. I love this compact fold up little like transformer style controller, um, and it makes flying this thing super, super convenient. So guys, if you're looking for, I would say, uh, intermediate drone to fly, which is some really cool advanced features and just overall just an absolute blast to fly. Um, and just it's just it's just a really, really fun drone and a very, very reasonable price for something like this, especially. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, definitely consider checking out the Holystone HS110G. But guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.